I have been editing in DaVinci Resolve. I get the error that your GPU memory is full, which makes sense because I'm trying to edit 6K time lapses, GTX 960 with four gigabytes of VRAM. And normally with 4K footage, you need about eight gigabytes of VRAM and I'm dealing with 6K. So totally makes sense. All right, but I'm cheap. I bought my 960 for a hundred bucks. I'm cheap. I don't want to spend a lot on the graphics card because I'm a video editor. Graphics cards don't really do anything for video editors. So I don't want to spend a whole lot of money. So I started searching around the internet and I found 24 gigabyte K80 card. Or maybe you do know what that is and you're like, well, that is not the card for that job. Server card. It's made for the data centers two GPUs on one card, you can actually see both of the GPUs on the card. It has 12 gigabytes of VRAM per GPU. It's made to be cooled through a server rack blow through like that. You see those fins? Obviously I can't just sit this in the computer and just go. It's made for servers. It's not made for Windows. It's made for Linux. So. There's some complications with it. We'll see if we can get this working today. We're gonna try it together. So this is with the GTX 960 in there. All right, so our GPU memory, we're sitting around seven gigabytes. This is a four gigabyte GPU and three uh, uh, gigabytes of VRAM is being used. GPU memory full, there we go. Now you're acting up. Try reducing the timeline resolution or the number of correctors. I'm playing around with this for six minutes now, and this is the problem I'm having. So let's try and fix that. I'm gonna go ahead and shut all this down, pop this video card in there, and we see where we go from there. A big problem I had with Tesla is cooling it because first of all, it's meant to be in the server. Secondly, it doesn't, uh, you know, it doesn't have its own fan. It has two GPUs in it, okay? Two. So I'm not just trying to cool one GPU. I'm trying to cool two. And that's actually very difficult with the amount of airflow in a given, you know, just standard desktop case. I've got my front fans blowing this way, but they're blowing through a RAD, 360 RAD, that's an AIO. And uh, there, there's not enough airflow to blow through this card. And another thing to note about these cards, before you go out and find one on eBay and and buy one, is they are a CP, they have a CPU connector from the power supply, not a normal PCIe connector from the power supply. So if your power supply does not have two CPU connectors, um, you're not gonna be able to get enough power for this uh, dual GPU card. So I have my CPU connectors that go in there. So I made this little funnel of cardboard to be able to funnel the air from this fan into the K80s. It cooled this GPU uh, adequately. I wouldn't say well, you know, we had temperatures around 80, 85, but this GPU was being heated up by this one considerably. Uh, so this GPU was seeing 95, 100 degrees. So that GPU is basically unusable. So I was only able to use this GPU. We are going to leave the 960 in here because this is a headless GPU and I would like to use my monitor. So Arkansas engineering for you. I thought about uh, water cooling it. A buddy of mine found a uh, water block for this GPU on Alibaba for like 150 bucks. So I thought about doing a water cooling loop. We've got, oh, that's not a good sign. Believe it or not, that is pretty common. Whenever I put this GPU in, I get black screens. So that's the problem I've been having. You can see the K80A, K80B, and the, 19, uh, the 960. Right. Let's go up to preferences let's go to GPU so it's already selected one of the k80s we're pegged at a hundred percent now just pegged completely at a hundred percent 
Let's look at our temperatures. Our K80 is at 47 C and climbing because it was cold when we put it in there. This one's at 80. GPU load is 100%. So the one that's not being used today is at 47 C and climbing with no load because it's being warmed up by the first <laughs> GPU. So this first GPU is, is overloading the rear GPU even though it's not doing anything. This other K80 at zero load hit, you know, 49C now, it'll go up to 95C eventually. <laughs> Did our problem get solved? Because that's, that's all I care about. I can figure out cooling. I can put it on a water block. I can figure out cooling later if our problem of choppy playback is solved, right? So let's look. Are we getting smooth playback? No, we're getting eight frames a second. See, I'm getting zero percent. <laughs> I have, uh, I've lost my GPUs. Oh yeah, they're too hot. Still in there, but the sensors are like overloaded, I guess, so they can't even tell. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. So if you had that question, if you are a DaVinci Resolve user and you're like, hey, I would like some more VRAM on the cheap. Here's a, a Tesla card for a hundred bucks on eBay. Let me go ahead and get 24 gigabytes of VRAM. Uh, I don't, I don't have studio, so I can't like use all three GPUs, the GTX 960 and both K80s all at once to see if that would give me better timeline playback. Um, but what I am noticing is that we aren't having a problem with uh, your memory being overloaded because we're using less memory. We're only using 1.2 gigabytes of memory on the GTX 960 now. I remember you said to lower my resolution before, but I just, that's not a solution for me. You know, um, I can't just lower my resolution. I the $580, um, what is it? The RX, the AMD RX 6700 or whatever. And it's got 16 gigabytes of VRAM. Um, I just need to buckle down and just spend the 600 bucks on it because, you know, honestly, 16 gigabytes of VRAM for 600 bucks is a great deal. So, uh, that's probably the direction I'll go. And another reason I don't want to do that is because of using CUDA in DaVinci Resolve, and I'm not going to be able to use that. And also, I like the encoding that I have on NVIDIA cards and decoding uh, that is not present in the AMD cards. So, but there's nothing in NVIDIA that is comparable at that price range. Uh, as far as VRAM goes. So I'm at a dilemma there. But anyway, if you had a question of whether a $100 Tesla card um, could work in DaVinci Resolve, the answer is it works. Um, it is, it is DaVinci, <laughs> DaVinci Resolve is open, but it's unusable, completely unusable. Um, so DaVinci Resolve does recognize it and it could, you know, if you had Studio, if you had the full version, it could use both of them. It could use both of them with your, you know, regular card. And the drivers I'm using right now are the GTX drivers. They're the, the game ready drivers or, or they're not the game ready drivers. They're the, the Studio um, GTX drivers for video editors. Um, and that worked fine to, you know, bring up Tesla and whatever and Tesla showed up just fine so yes you can use it um, you need to cool it uh, somehow with a water cooling loop um, something better than what I have uh, but right now it's just it's completely unusable um, it just yeah 
So anyway, hope that answers your question. This is getting too long, so I'm going to sign off.